Hello everyone, hope you all had a wonderful Valentine's Day. For this class, we are going to be starting off at the back of our mat, laying down, grabbing the outside edge of your feet, coming into a gentle happy baby. So we will be starting off nice and gentle and as we progress along, we will be working our waistline and core and further along in the class, working on our legs. Right now, we're just indulging in opening our hips. Extending now both your legs, gripping onto one, letting the other hover. As you grip onto your leg, pull gently towards you and then switch out legs. So as you grip your leg, pull gently towards you so you feel a nice satisfying stretch in your hamstring and calf. Now using some momentum, swing your way through to a tabletop, coming into a gentle cat-cow, just to start warming up our spine. From here, tucking your toes, lifting your knees to a hover, walk your way through, keeping the hips low to a malasana, and then coming back to your bear, hovering just for a moment, and then walking back through to your malasana. You're going to do this up to five times. So once you have finished 5 reps, you're going to sink down into your malasana. We're just holding here for a few moments to allow our heart rate to come back down. Pressing back through and stepping back into your bear and from bear out to plank, back to bear for 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lowering one leg if it helps, and then sending your left leg forward into your low lunge. And shifting it back into your half split. Optional to lift up your left toes for an additional stretch in your hamstring and calf. Then coming back to your low lunge. Then from your low lunge, shifting onto your left knee, straightening your right leg, hands up above you to candlestick dippers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And now shifting your left leg down a little bit further, modified side plank crunches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now shifting your weight up into a high side plank, two hip dips, one, two, two oblique wraps, three, four, two hip dips, five, six, oblique wraps, seven, eight, two hip dips, nine, ten, and high plank. Dropping the left knee and stepping the right leg through to the front of the mat into your low lunge. Shifting back into your half split, optional to lift up the right side toes for an additional stretch in the hamstring and calves. Shifting back through to your low lunge. And then we're going to repeat the same candlestick dipper on the other side. So adjust onto your right knee first, straighten out your left leg, hands above your head, and let's go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, and 15. And now shifting your right leg down, same side plank modified crunches. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And now coming up onto your high right side plank. Two hip dips, one, two, three, four oblique wraps. Hip dips, five, six, oblique wraps, seven, eight, hip dips, nine, ten, and high plank. Down onto your elbows, two hip dips, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shifting back into a brief child's pose. Clasping your hands onto your elbows, lifting your waist into dolphins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Dropping one leg first if it helps, but then pressing up into your downward facing dog just for a brief moment. And then you're going to start slowly but surely, no matter what you look like or feel like. Walk your way all the way to the top of your mat, rolling on through to standing, to our standing summer city. And we're going to use this posture to catch our breath, allow for our heart rate to settle down. We've officially concluded the upper body, waist and core section of this workout. So once this break is over, we will then be working on our legs. So really indulge in this summer city.
taking a deep breath in, raising your hands up to the sky, coming into chair squats for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, lifting up your right heel, squatting and pulsing on your left leg, coming into twenty pulses at your own pace. And back to your chair squats, coming up and squat for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now this time lifting up your left heel, squatting onto your right leg. Going in for 20 pulses. That is it, our pulses back to our chairs. One final round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15. Stepping wide, width of your mat, coming into a wide legged forward fold. Adjusting your feet accordingly. The further apart your feet are, the easier this posture. The closer in your feet are, the harder the posture. And maybe you'd like to bring your elbows to the mat, clasping your hands. Might even try bringing your head to the mat. Whatever feels most comfortable for you in this posture. We're just going to hold here for a couple of breaths to allow our heart rate to come back down. Rising on up, adjusting your feet in, heels in, toes out, got a squat, hands above head. One, two, three, four, five, six. If your hands do get sick of being up in the air, you can bring them to a palm or a prayer posture, making sure to drive your hips back. But you also want to be moving up and down like an elevator, making sure to drive your knees outward, coming all the way up to 15 reps. And now shuffling your feet in slightly, opposite elbow, opposite knee after your squat. So squat first and then opposite elbow, opposite knee. And keep on going. All these squats that we're doing, we're coming up to 15 reps. So moving purely at your own pace. Remember to keep your chest forward and lifted. Keep on going. 
deep breath as you go. So once you have officially reached 15, coming into some air squats. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15, widening your feet back out, You're going to come back into your wide legged forward fold, just to recatch your breath, so adjusting your feet to whatever width suits you most, and whether or not you want to come down to your elbows. We do have one final exercise left. It's going to be a superset type of exercise. So for right now, let's just focus on lowering our heart rate, catching our breath. And if you'd like, you can send your left elbow ahead of you, but then grip onto your right leg just for an isolated stretch. And then switching out sides, your right elbow ahead of you for gripping onto your left leg. Rising back up and coming into a goddess. Squatting down and as you come back up you're going to come into a side lunge, back to a squat, other side lunge. So like I said a super set exercise, so you're squatting lunging to one side, squatting again, and then lunging the other side. Coming into 15 reps, and I will see you on the other side. And you are finally finished. Straighten through the legs, step through to the front of your mat, bow it on forward, coming into your standing forward fold. Just taking a moment to catch a breath. And now bending through the knees and gently and carefully rolling your way back through to your bowl posture. Rocking it out a little bit if that feels nice. And now extending your legs, straightening out your right leg, bring your left leg across into a left side spinal twist. Switching out sides, this time straighten your left leg, bring across your right leg to your right side spinal twist. And adjusting back to center, coming into your final resting posture, Shavasana. You did incredibly well throughout this workout, working out your waist and your core, and then switching it up and working out your legs. You raised your heart rate in the cardio-based exercises, and now it's time to lower the heart rate, ease out the breathing, completely relax, no part of you is tense, 
or clenching anymore. Allow it all to go. Do a body scan. See what parts of you are still holding on in an engagement. Breathing nice and deep. And now begin to wiggle fingers and toes and in your own time roll over to a fetal position. And just as well in your own time, meet me in the middle of your mat in an easy seated pose, whatever is most comfortable for you. I personally choose to sit cross-legged with my elbows at my knees and my fingers in an mudra. Just listening to the sounds of nature around you, whether or not your eyes are open. Smelling the air. Feeling and hearing the nature around you. Now bringing your hands up above your head, grabbing the energy above you, bringing it down to you, and bowing it out with yourself. Thanking yourself for being on the mat. Thank you all so much for watching or flowing. I do appreciate it either way. And I shall see you all for the rest of my videos. Namaste.